Good morning, fishing fam, fishing friends. Put some music. Then we'll get into it. It's been a while since I made a video, but I didn't want to just make another video of fishing because those videos don't really get that much view and I'm sure it's interesting for all of you to put this guy down a little bit as it is fun for me to watch the videos when I catch them however some people want tutorials and stuff and um, and I'm not just a fish catcher I know how to catch them I mean I've been into bass fishing for the last maybe two three years it hasn't been that much but I've been fishing for the last eight two nine years for salt water so salt water is a different game you can literally just stick with a jig you can use a jerk bait whatever you want but you can use stick with a jig and a, a soft plastic trailer like a jerk bait or or a, a paddle tail and that's it but the freshwater bass are very very picky there's billions of ways to catch them but the number one way to catch them every lake I've been to is a drop shot. Now I'm not talking about a pond which is like eight inches to a foot deep. I'm talking about a place where you have like a three foot of depth at least. Okay, so we're on fishing like Lake Balboa. It's a big pond and then, then we have three feet at the minimum and we have up to 16, maybe even 17 feet at the middle of the lake. Well, I'm never going to be able to cast at the middle of the lake, but where I do cast, we get up to maybe, I want to say, 10 to 12 feet, let's say. Let's say we're fishing in about 10 feet of water. Eight minimum. Okay. Regardless, today's topic. I don't know if you guys can see my face, and the reason why I got the hat, because I'm crusty. I didn't get to shave nothing. They didn't want to scare nobody. I don't usually show my face. Don't care for those videos. Uh, this is my channel for me, for my children, my grandchildren in the future, whatever. It's a good place to uh, record your stuff and leave it forever on your own YouTube channel. So that's that. Once so we get that out of the way, drop shot hook made by Roboworm. It has become my new favorite hook for a drop shot and this is how it stands by the way now people will think this is a huge hook as I did because I usually use a hook about that big and not even that wide but you're talking about an open hook where you actually get a bait let me get a bait and show you guys a small little thing you're talking about an open hook where you get a bait and you nose hook it just like that and after you nose hook it, I didn't have it, but that thing can swing freely in the water. So as you're jigging it, whatever, it looks like, you know, a jerk bait without the trebles in a weird way. Now this is a Yamamoto shad shaped worm and I've caught a lot of fish with That's this. That's a drop shot on Lake Balboa early in the morning. It's a dink, but it's a start. Here's the bass. Got another buck bass. These guys are moving in to spawn, I'm guessing, because uh, they're fairly close by. I got my fishing rod. I'm not going to really drag it all over the place. So I'm going to toss this guy back in there, too. This is my number two. Been, uh, it's been a long five minutes, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Blue bass in five minutes, not bad. This is my old spot. I haven't fished this spot in a long time. You gave it such a long rest. People have been beating it up, but they don't have my bait, so let's see what we can do. Number three for me, I think, but I'm proudly taking it. Another one. Another dinky. There it went. Catching them, all right. My bait's gone, though. 
That's a nice largemouth bass from Lake Bell. Fish early in the morning, paid off. Second cast, didn't really know what to expect. That fish wanted it. Drops out, of course. It's gonna say he's probably a little less than a pound. I'm gonna get a scale on him real quick.